But the day kicked off in fine fashion with the Kentucky Country Ham Breakfast and the, the winning grand champion ham this year, $400,000. It went to Republic Bank. Our Erica Coghill was up here early this morning for the breakfast and the ham. called the Fairness Campaign. It's been showing up for about the past five years, but this time the group was asked to leave and some of its members were even arrested. Amber Duke with the ACLU shot this cell phone video as she, along with members of the Jefferson County Teachers Association and the Fairness Campaign, were asked to leave the Kentucky Country Ham Breakfast. Three people were arrested, including Chris Hartman, the director of the Fairness Campaign. The group was removed after standing in protest of the Kentucky Farm Bureau. Their message printed on bright orange shirts. They explicitly promote and lobby for policies that are anti-LGBT, anti-union, anti-teacher, anti-choice, pro-death penalty. State troopers asked them to leave before arresting three members for failure to disperse. Hartman was also charged with disorderly conduct. Keith Farah's partner was arrested. About 20 people cannot get up and run out of a room that quickly. We were doing so quietly and peacefully. We did not we did not say anything. We did not chant. We did not have signs or banners. We did not disrupt anything. In a statement, Kentucky Farm Bureau spokesperson Dan Smalldone wrote, "Quote: We respect the right of any organization to hold policy positions supporting the interests of its members, but we are very disappointed that a group would attempt to disrupt a charity auction." Every group is going to have different policies on different things, and I don't happen to agree with every group on everything. But the Farm Bureau does play an important role in Kentucky agriculture. Celebrating Kentucky agriculture is what the event is all about, a tradition that's been going strong since 1964, raising nearly $9 million for charity since. And I sold it for $400,000! Weighing in at 14.13 pounds, the ham from Muhlenberg County was sold to Republic Bank for $400,000. The money will go to a charity of the company's choice. We've got a few things in the works in the education and healthcare field. Erica Coghill, 